the shape that we can see on the screen is called a triangle and we are quite familiar with the reason also because if we split the term triangle we will get two terms tri which means three and angle would be these corner areas that we get as a result of two lines intersecting so quite easily I can say a triangle is a shape with three angles and now we can even try this okay with three angles we can only have three sides now just in case if you would like to try then you can try making another side and join it with these existing sides and what you will get is a different shape with a fourth angle altogether and that particular shape can be called a square or rectangle or any other quadrilateral but not a triangle because a triangle is a shape with three sides and three angles so we can say number of angles actually relate to number of sides a shape can have all right, let's go ahead and name this triangle as triangle ABC. Now, what I want to do is with you guys a small exercise in which I'll present to you many triangles of different shapes and different sizes. And what you guys have to do is you'll have to identify as many triangles as possible that you find similar to triangle ABC. Okay, so here we go. All right, supposing you actually identify these similar triangles. So can I ask you if you also found these particular triangles to be more similar to triangle ABC even when there are so many other triangles. Now how do you think we would pick only these triangles to be similar out of so many other triangles? Well the reason is quite nicely given by geometry which is a part of mathematics. It says we can call any two shapes or figures similar particularly in case of these triangles on the screen if their corresponding angles are same so let's let's say their angles are 70 degree 80 degree and 30 degree because we know that the total angle measure of the three angles in a triangle is always 180 degree so 70 plus 80 plus 30 will give us 180 now we can call these triangles similar only when they will have the exact same set of angles that is 70 80 30 throughout also they can only differ in their sizes as much as they can. They can be smaller, they can be bigger, provided that they always maintain their angle. And when they maintain their angle, they are actually maintaining their aspect ratio. And what I mean by aspect ratio is, let's say we assign their sides some lengths. So if smaller triangle is 3, 4, 5, then medium triangle is 6, 8, 10, and larger triangle is 12, 16, and 20. Now, on what basis did I assign them these lengths? If I say that smaller triangle is 3, 4, 5, then this is the aspect ratio of the smaller triangle because it is a ratio within a triangle of its sides. So 3 is to 4 is to 5 is the ratio that we will maintain in all of these triangles. So 6 is to 8 is to 10 will again give us 3 is to 4 is to 5 if we divide it by 2. Similarly, 12 is to 16 is to 20 will also give us 3 is to 4 is to 5 if we further divide it by 4. So what we are doing is we are not only maintaining the angle measure but also we are maintaining the overall aspect ratio of the triangle. But there is a way in which these sizes must vary and only then they shall be called similar. So let's learn that concept too. How about naming the smaller triangle as DEF and the larger triangle as GHI. So let's just ignore the larger triangle for a moment and quite clearly we can see the smaller triangle DEF is actually uh, half in size of the medium triangle ABC and I'm saying that because all of its sides are actually half in length as compared to the sides of the triangle ABC. So if we take the ratio of the sides that is that is the ratio of side DE of smaller triangle to its corresponding side AB in medium triangle. So we will get 3 upon 6 which is nothing but 1 upon 2. So BC of medium triangle corresponds to EF of the smaller triangle. So if we take the ratio 4 is to 8, again we will get 1 upon 2. Similarly DF upon AC will give us 5 upon 10 which is again 1 upon 2. So we can see whenever we are taking the ratio of the sides of both of these triangles, we are getting the answer 1 upon 2. So this particular number 1 upon 2 will be called the scale factor and please note that this scale factor is actually something really important when we are constructing similar triangles in geometry. 
So as part of geometrical terminologies, we can say in this case, we are performing a scale down on triangle ABC by a scale factor of 1 upon 2 to get a smaller triangle DEF. Now if we shift our attention to the larger triangle GHI, quite clearly all of its sides are double in length with respect to the sides of triangle ABC. So what is happening over here is that there is a scale factor of 2 that is involved because all of its sides are double in length. So we can definitely say we are performing a scale up on triangle ABC by a scale factor of 2 upon 1 or 2 to get a larger triangle GHI. But wait, there is another possibility that there will be another triangle which will not only have the exact same angle measure as triangle ABC but all of its sides will also be exactly same. Or in another words, I can say it will be the exact photocopy of our given triangle ABC. And in such a case, whenever two shapes or two figures are exactly the same, then in geometry we call them congruent. So we can say triangle ABC and triangle PQR are congruent to each other. Now what can we comment about the scale factor over here? Scale factor is definitely going to be just one. Why? Because all of its aspects are the same. So these are the main ideas that we have to keep in mind when we are constructing similar triangles. So now let us move on and see if we have been given a triangle. How can we construct another similar triangle out of it with the help of geometrical instruments like compass and straight edge. The complete course for grade 10th CBSE Math is available in pen drive and SD card format. Click on the link to buy now. To know more, you may also check the description box below.